वेलकम टू गणित सूत्र मैथमेटिक्स ऑन फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल्स वी आर इन यूनिट थ्री ऑफ दिस सीरीज ऑफ क्लासेस यूनिट थ्री हैज फोकस अपॉन टेक्स्ट फार्मुलेशंस देर आर ट्वेंटी फोर फार्मुलेशंस ऑफ द टेक्स्ट ऑफ गणित सूत्र वन टू सिक्सटीन टूडे we are focusing upon formulation 3 anurupa this single formulation is a complete text of ganita upsutra 1 the previous pair of formulations ekadhike and purve together make a complete text of ganita sutra 1 ganita sutra 1 is a complete text of a pair of formulations ekadhike and purve both these sutra 1 and upsutra 1 as such or a scripture of text of three formulations first of all let us have a letters wise chase of this text and so we know the first formulation ekadike is availing nine letters second formulation purve is availing seven letters and third formulation anurupa is availing 10 letters and it takes us to total 26 letters out of 519 letters of the complete text of ganita sutras and upsutras these three formulations ekadhike purve and anurupa or availing only 26 letters with this being the feature of the composition of the texts of ganita sutra 1 and ganita upsutra 1 now let us try a to have a reach at the value 26 value 26 is a value which is accepting the organization as 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 these quadruple values are parallel to four fold manifestation layer of hypercube 7 with five space in the role of dimension six space in the role of boundary seven space as domain and eight space as origin with it it straight away comes to mind that when we are chasing along the format of a sthapatya mirroring rod which consists of and which is a setup of synthetic of hypercubes 1 to 6 therefore along this format the chase would naturally be for a reach up till the origin of 6 space which is a 7 space and 7 space as such is a having a representative regular body hypercube 7 therefore it straight away can be implied that the text of ganita sutra 1 as ekadhike purve together with the text of ganita upsutra 1 as anurupa as a scripture of 26 steps with organization of value 26 as 5 6 7 8 plus 
parallel to fourfold manifestation layer of hypercube 7 the representative regular body of a seventh space in the role of an origin and further as it is through pole star in the role of an origin of our solar universe as such the mathematical format of the text of Ganita Sutra 1 together with Ganita Upsutra 1 Therefore, the Ganita Sutra 1 and Ganita Upsutra 1 as such make a setup which is of the order of hypercube 7, the 7 space. With it, it straightway comes to focus the transition from Ganita Sutra 1 to Ganita Sutra 2 as such having a bridging of its gap in terms of the values, mathematics and format of Ganita Upsutra 1. Therefore Ganita Sutra 1 with Ganita Upsutra 1 as gap bridging mathematics will provide us a smooth transition from Ganita Sutra 1 to Ganita Sutra 2. Now let us have a revisit to these texts. We see that the Eka Adhikel, the first formulation is a composition of nine letters. The second formulation Purvain is a composition of seven letters and the Anurupe, the third formulation, is availing 10 letters. Therefore, the first feature, 9 letters, 7 letters and 10 letters, as such, as we have seen, is taking us to value 26 as parallel to fourfold manifestation layer at 7, which is a representative regular body of a 7 space which plays the role of an origin. It is, it is playing the role of an origin of a six space. And here it would be blissful to take note that the first letter of Ekaathike formulation A is having TC value 6, which is parallel to Surya Ankh, number of Surya, Sun, and it is a six space six space content, six space content lump manifesting as domain fold of hypercube 6. So here the initiation of Ganita Sutra 1 with the first letter A is of the format of hypercube 6 and as we have seen when we are having an integrated text of the gaps being filled with the Ganita Upsutras and with the invitation of Ganita Upsutra 1 between Ganita Sutra 1 and Ganita Sutra 2 will as such takes us to H7 and in it it will be blissful to see that how the second sutra Ganita Sutra 2 with first letter Na of TC value 8 is on the face of it helping us appreciate that the gap between the text of Ganita Sutra 1 and Ganita Sutra 2 is being bridged by the invitation availability of Ganita Upsutra 1. This is the feature which deserves to be appreciated fully. Now let us have a further chase of the values accepted by the formulations Ekadhike and Purve. This formulation Ekadhike we know is a text which avails five vowels. Purve formulation avails three vowels and Anurupe again avails five vowels. Therefore five vowels, three vowels, five vowels 
as such takes us to value 13 which is parallel to 13 geometries range of hypercube 6 of 6 space 13 versions of hypercube 6 therefore this feature as such firstly is helping us have appreciation as to how the 13 versions of hypercube 6 as such are having values and format parallel to the vowels being availed by these three formulations. Further here it would be blissful to take note that the 5, 5 with the opposite orientations as dimensional values synthesize a value minus 3. Therefore, it also is the feature that the synthesis of the dimensional orders with the help of these three are also taking us to a another very valuable feature as that minus 5 minus 5 leading to minus 3 means a dimension of this order when pairs with itself it leads to synthesis value this. Therefore this feature is the another feature which deserves to be comprehended and imbibed well while appreciating the Ganita of Sutra 1 formulation 3 when is invited for bridging the gap between the text of Ganita Sutra 1 and Ganita Sutra 2 then this feature is also automatically flowing and becomes available for attaining continuity and for maintaining smooth transition. The another feature of the text of these three formulations is that first formulation is availing as many as four consonants. The second formulation as well is availing four and the third formulation is availing five and we see this again leads us to value 30. It is this feature which deserves to be comprehended well as that the organization of the texts of these three formulations when are splitted in terms of the vowels and the consonants then see in both cases beautifully it emerges as that the consonants and vowels both are equal in number. It is this equal partition of the value 26, the 26 letters. So when are partitioned as 13 and 13, it further brings the beautiful format emerging during this or for this integrated text. Now a step ahead, let us have and let us reach at the Vedic code values being availed. The Vedic code values of formulation 1 for these four consonants comes to be 1, 7, 1 and 0 means 9 is the value. 9 is the Vedic code value for the first formulation K, And the second formulation as well which is having quadruple letters and the values comes to 1, 2, 4, 5 and this leads to value 12. The third formulation Anurupen is also a text of as many as nine, as many as five consonants and it avails value 9. Therefore, the Vedic code value emerging is 9, 12 and 9 which comes to be 30. One may have a pause here and take note that value 30 accepts organization as 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 which is parallel to fourfold manifestation layer 7, 8 and 9 and this as such is the manifestation layer of hypercube 8. So beautiful that when in the reach here with the hypercube 6 intervention of hypercube 7 and final reach at hypercube 8 here it will be blissful 
to revisit all these features and to have a proper comprehension as to how when the text of Ganita Sutras and Upsutras as 16 Sutras followed by 13 Upsutras are being availed as an integrated text. That means when Ganita Sutra 1 and Ganita Upsutra 2 are accepting Ganita Upsutra 1 as a bridging format. The text of Ganita Upsutra 1 is invited here to bridge the gap between Ganita Sutra 1 and Ganita Sutra 2. It is this bridging potentiality, it is this feature, it is this mathematics, it is this argumentation, it is this complementation and supplementation of the formats of the texts of Ganita Sutra and Upsutra which deserves to be appreciated, deserves to be comprehended well. It is this comprehension which will help us appreciate as to how the text of Ganita Sutra 16 and 13 as a total text of 29 and when it becomes an integrated text 1 to 29 with value 29 as the TCV value of formulation Brahma, the overlord of the creator space, four space, then it will be blissful for us to comprehend and appreciate as to how the Ganita Sutra's text as it is in its integrated form is adopting, accepting the creator's space, four space. So this whole mathematics in its argumented text is taking us to the creator's space. The mathematics of the creator's space, four space and all the format up till which the spatial order of the creator space will take us to is to follow. The mathematics of Ganita Sutras and Upsutras on its first principles when is chased formulation wise as is being attempted here as Eka Adhikain first formulation, Purvain as a second formulation and both these formulations together making a text of Ganita Sutra 1 then is followed by the text of Ganita of Sutra 1 as a single formulation, formulation 3 Anurupe. Then the Ganita Sutra text followed by the text of Ganita of Sutra 1 will be making a mathematics, a mathematical format, a processing steps for values and features of the creator's space. How this mathematics of Ganita Sutras and Upsutras on its first principles when is chased in terms of the integrated text format of the Sutras and Upsutras with Upsutras being availed for bridging the gaps between the consecutive Sutras then blissfully will be reaching at a situation which will be parallel to the situation of achievement uh, and bliss of the mathematics of a four space. Now let us have a revisit to the texts of Ganita Sutra 1 and Ganita Upsutra 2 in terms of the transcendental code values. We know the transcendental code value of formulation, first formulation, Eka Dekain is 40. The formulation, the second formulation, Purvain, is accepting a value 35. One can have a pause here and take note that the values appear 40 and 35. When we visit this values pair 40 and 35 with their organization 5 into 8 and 5 into 7, then we can see that here we are availing the formulation rule mathematics of Ganita Sutra 1 itself one more than before. Therefore the before value 7 for poor way is to take us to value 8. One can further have a pause here and take note that 7 is equal to 7 geometries range of 3 space. 
and 8 is equal to the boundary components of a 4 space hypercube phi. Therefore, this format a pair of formulations in terms of the transcendental code values as 40 and 35 accept a organization processing reach steps as per the working rule of the mathematics of Ganita Sutra 1 itself which simple rendering is one more than before. Therefore, this rule one more than before also further brings us face to face with that the format being availed is the format which will be ultimately taking us from cube, a linear order, space to hypercube for a spatial order space. It will be very blissful to have a pause here and take note that TCV value of Ganita of Sutra 1 formulation on Rupen comes to be 42 which means it is a value of a spatial order taking to a four space as a domain. The linear order is a one space taking us to three space. It is this reach, it is this attainment in terms of these transcendental code values for the formulations 1 and 2 which are bound as per the working rule Ekadi can pour away and further when the third formulation reaches then it again takes us beautifully to a from a linear order three space to a spatial order two space things doesn't stop here it further takes us to that this integration which is being emerging and which is being made available with the inviting of Ganita Sutra 1 to bridge the gap between Ganita Sutra 1 and Ganita Sutra 2 is in fact availing the synthesis process of the transcendence ranges. So pair of linear order transcendence ranges lead to value 31 and then a step ahead the pair of spatial order transcendence ranges on synthesis will lead to the value will lead to the value of 42. This is a feature which again deserves to be comprehended well. Those who are acquainted with natural values formats of 26 chand meters, they will be knowing that the word old of 26 letter English letter and world new are the letters which are accepting value 31 and 42. Therefore, this transition as such is the attainment which is from the old format to a new format as the formulation format itself is a composition which takes us to value 43 which is equal to 41 plus 40, 31 plus 42. Beautiful. It is old and new. So the format being availed which is being utilized here in this augmented text is the format of a old and a new. Therefore it is here where the real achievement of the Vedic systems is coming in sight. Let us have a pause here and take note that that when from by the rule one we are having a linear progression one more than before. Now the anurupe means would mean follow the form as it is framed. That means here is a symmetry rule. As such the progression rule of Ganita Sutra 1 together with the symmetry rule naturally from the line linear progression it will take us to a spatial order. It is this reach, it is this attainment which deserves to be comprehended well as that when we are reaching from Ganita Sutra 1 to Ganita Sutra 2 and we are inviting Ganita Up Sutra 1 and when we are bridging here then that means along with this progression rule 
here we are applying the symmetry rule and as per this symmetry rule we are naturally emerging and reaching from a linear order say interval to a square further this rule symmetry rule will also take us from verga to a to a circle therefore it is here where really is going to be the full implications of the integrated text and this full integration is taking us to first to a word verg and verg we know is a heavy a another symmetry body along with it of a square it is here where we have been successful to uh, dispense with value pi as by availing a pair of domains together as a domain and a boundary we will be successfully dispensing with pi as we know the formulation a square is to 4 a raised to power 1 is ultimately helping us dispense with the pi. It is this achievement, it is this attainment which is to be blissfully enjoyed. We have to absorb this, we have to face to face with it and then further we will know that the Varga and the Vrit means a circle. Now it is here when Varga and Vrit both are heavy, the formulations as these are and Varga being a formulation which is accepting a value 14 and then when we will reach at Ghan it also will be taking us to value 14. See how the linearly we are progressing, we are having a sequential progressions and simultaneously with the symmetry we are also having an affine. It is this affine that from the work to a Vrit and from work to a Ghan. Therefore, all those who are really interested to reach at the features as to how and in which way our the mathematical tools of the modern system like pi, i, e. When these features, these tools are being applied by modern mathematics, in fact it can be said that limitations of the modern mathematics are there only because of their these tools. No doubt these tools as these are when are optim optimally availed they take us to the optimum attainment of the modern mathematics. However the these attainments have their natural limitations inherent in it and these limitations are responsible for the mathematical problems. Now how the Vedic mathematics has been successful to dispense with these and how these have been surpassed. Now pi is being dispensed with by availing instead of a single progression we avail simultaneously a pair of formats. It is this availing of a pair of formats one goes in the role of a boundary and other remains as a domain. So this simultaneous availing of the pair of the formats or which ultimately come out to be the pair of infinities. So when this infinity, linear infinity and spatial infinity will be simultaneously availed and would be worked out like the finites. It is this success that infinity is being availed as a units. So this availing of the infinity chasing of an infinity as units, as linear units, we are successfully reaching for the infinity as a finite format. So reaching or working or chasing as finite formats is a unique mathematical success of the Ganita Sutras. Vedic mathematics, the mathematics of the Ganita Sutras on first principles deserves to be chased thoroughly, step by step, very gently and sequentially as is ordained by Ganita Sutra 1. <coughs> the actual mathematical format, common format, uh, the format in terms of which there appears to be 
a uniformity, a fine uniformity, transcend, transcendental uniformity underlying which unifies them. With these features in our mind, we shall sit comfortably and permit the transcending mind to pray. The first stage Vedic mathematics prayer is the text of Ganita Sutras to be followed by the text of Ganita Upsutras. The second phase and stage of the prayer of Vedic mathematics is in terms of the integrated text of Ganita Sutras and Upsutras. Here the Upsutras are availed for bridging the gaps between the consecutive sutra. It is this feature, it is this feature which is being availed, is coming into effect and which is being focused at present here in terms of the triple formulation Ekadhike and Purve, a pair of formulations then are to be complemented by Anurupe. It is here where we have to further appreciate that a pair of formulations are followed by a third formulation. It in fact is a daimonad and it is a monad. So we will be reaching at a mathematics of two as one. It real is a spatial order mathematics. It is of a four space mathematics which is leading us to a spatial synthesis and then coming one as two Therefore, 2 as a 1 and 1 as a 2 is the working rule emerging here. This we will take up when we will be applying these features for the concrete mathematical situations to be worked out, needed to be worked out by having a proper chase of the existence phenomenon of our solar universe. Now, we see that linear progression wise then poor the east is having a value 21. So therefore linearly progression format of Ganita Sutra 1 as such is going to take us to a diameter format. So reaching from east to west is a diameter format chase. It is a Ganita Sutra 1 chase. However, when the symmetry rule is applied then it will lead us to the diameter or linear progression transiting and transforming into a circumference. Therefore to reach west here we have to then go stepwise along the circumference and reach is to be for poor to third that means to the north. The formulation north as it is is accepting a TCV value 16. It is this acceptance which deserves to be revisited to see how the complementation and integration of the text of Ganita Upsutra 1 with the text of Ganita, Upsutra, Ganita Sutra 1 will help us have a transition from the linear progression of a diameter to format to the circumference format and then the linear progression here for reach at the west is going to be as it is here reaching from Pur to Uttar. Now this here one can further have a pass that we are reaching to Pur from to the east from the west that it is going to be of going to be west to south and here the values comes to be 22 and 24 which is of the format of a dimension and a domain and the gap value here is 2 while gap value here is 1 therefore it will follow that at the first stage from progression linear progression to a circular format we are having the attainment when a step ahead when we are along the circumference itself that means we are on a spatial format itself so here the, there will be an availability 2 as a unit and with it we will reaching from value 22 plus 2 is equal to 24. One shall sit comfortably have a pause here 
and with it permit the transcending mind to be parallel to this transition and transformation happening with the invitation for ganita sutra 1 to ganita up sutra 1 to bridge the gap between ganita sutra 1 and ganita sutra 2 now it is this bridging that means when we are actually bridging between 1 and 2 it would mean that we will be availing a value one and half means 3 over 2 it is here where we will feel that 16 and 24 are available as 16 into 1 and a half one shall blissfully enjoy one shall blissfully absorb this mathematics this argumentation mathematics this complementary and supplementary features of the mathematics of ganita sutras and ganita up sutras it is a feature it is a value it is the bliss which is to be absorbed by the sadhakas the students of vedic mathematics who are having who are fulfilled with the intensity of urge to chase ganita sutra mathematics on its first principles these all features deserves to be chased very gently very smoothly and in such a way that we are parallel to organization format features of these formulations therefore first of all for as a first principle and first of all let us visit the devanagari alphabet so that we are face to face with the values and features of individual letters of the ganit of the devanagari alphabet when these alphabet letters are to be availed for the text of ganita sutras and upasutras then the structures in the form of values and features of the letters as per their placements in the alphabet format are carried forward so the letters carry forward carry along with them their values and placement features of the alphabet itself and when these are availed for composing and organizing the text of the formulations then a step ahead we have to reach at firstly the transcendental code values and then these transcendental code values are to be re reapproached as the syllables code values and as vedic code values transcendental code values syllable code values and vedic code values together with the individual letters values and features all these features are simultaneously available are simultaneously playing their role and their role as it is to be imbibed to be appreciated these to be appreciated fully sequentially in a very gentle way as per the mathematical rule of one more than before and further same is to be complemented by the rule of proportionality and symmetry as per the forms by following the forms as these are framed and here we will be having ultimate reach at a this model this formation this vrit so ved vrit is going to be so from varg to vrit and vrit to ved so it is this vrit format so going from east to west along the principle of ganita sutra 1 one more than before a linear progression and further when it is augmented and supplemented by the rule of proportionality and symmetry of the ganita up sutra 1 then we will be along the circumference format now it is these formats these values these features these transitions these complemented formats these individual formats and then in their complemented and supplemented form and this text in its original form as sutras followed by upasutras and its augmented form all are the features which are simultaneously at work and as these are simultaneously at work so we have to be parallel to it thank you very much